Today we're gonna play a brand new mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06, it's called Shadow and Flame. Looks great, am I right? We're gonna go on solo play, skirmish and we're gonna play a brand new faction which is called Gundabad against a hard army. Let's get it started. I mean, I have not played this one time just yet, I was literally downloading that 5 minutes ago, so I have no clue about this faction. Uh, we need to build some resource buildings, uh, I think mines, okay? Let's build two mines and also yeah. let's use our units to yeah. grab the settlements. We see already Eye of Sauron, that means we have a Mordor opponent, okay? And just like in each of the ring, you have some different view options. Commander view looks like this, unit view is looking like this. And then also ground view looking like this. So you can actually take a look. I mean, they're going to use that later on to be able to take a look into. You actually have three sort of settlements here. Uh, does not produce resources. Okay. Uh, what does that do though? Let me check. Come on. Please move downstairs. Uh, this is going to train Moria Oryx. Okay. We're going to need money though. Let's build Lumber Mill in this case, right? And let's also build one here, and we're gonna also take a look into the power points from this spellbook. That's a brand new faction for BFMU1. Uh, Frigid Winds, 50% damage and armor, pretty much something like the War Chant from Isengard, and also Scavenger is available with level 1, I mean with one power point only from this spellbook. Let's pick this one, because now we can test those units, they are by the way called... Oh, there is Gollum. Does he have abilities here? No, but he looks different. I like this design. <laughs> nice one. Uh, here, they are also able to use the block formation, similar to the soldiers and Urukai from Isengard. They have also Bloodthirsty. Uh, you are able to kill friendly units to get experience. Actually, let's build some towers just for the worst case scenario. And build some more uh, resource buildings to get more money. Uh, first of all, I want to actually recruit as many um, heroes as we possibly can. I want to take a look into every single hero from this faction, Gundabad. This Gollum though, Tanky. Come on, Gollum. Okay, finally he's down. Let's make some more workers. They cost 18 instead of 20, which is the normal price in uh, BFME 1 on the patch 1.06. They are cheaper for this faction at least. Okay, we are actually getting a lot of money, and I think this game is kind of kind of faster. Let's make some more and more and more, and we're gonna get money from these. Uh, they have also something like a, like a cost reduction, produces resources, reduce cost of infantry with each mine build, okay? The secondary option you have is the Deep Forge, that's gonna make our upgrades cheaper, similar to the Blacksmith from Gonza, for example. But let's go for a cheaper choice of the resource buildings and we can actually try to creep this one even though I'm sure we won't be able to do that even with the war chant but we can give it a try okay, let's go let's use it now looks like a Falvin from the from the Ingmar faction in Rise of the Witch King guys let's also use the shield wall formation to make them tank here Eye of Sauron is able to scout us we can also try to recruit some heroes later on starting from the cheapest until the very strongest Durin's Bean Holy moly, Durin's Bane? Is this the Balrog, guys? Yeah, recruit Durin's Bane, a Balrog of Morgoth. <laughs> Alright, I see you. Okay, that's not gonna work out for us really nicely. We're gonna feel this one. I see even Haradrim arches from Mordor. Orc arches, they are all looking different. I think, besides the only new faction they added, the Gundabad, but I think every faction, like, you know, Mordor, Isengard, Gondor, and Rohan, they are also completely different. And let me know in the comment, sec the comment section down below if you want me to make more videos about this mod, guys. Uh, hi, Shimon. Leadership bonus, it's a sportive hero. The next hero on the list is going to be Luck or Luck the Maulet. This guy is looking kind of strange. <laughs> he looks like the guy from uh, Avengers, you know what I'm saying? You know the guy from Avengers, guys, uh, who was able to control the objectives in the Infinity Wars? I don't know the name, but maybe you can let me know in the comment section down below. Okay. I mean, he's pretty strong. Uh, he has also some abilities. We're gonna take a look into them once we unlock them. After getting some more levels. Now we can recruit this dude and then also Bulk. Bulk is his son uh, from Azok. By the way, we've also seen Bulk in the movies, in the Hobbit movies. 
and this is L look look bulk <laughs> i mean the goblins you know the gundabad warriors they have some strange names for sure okay let's peel back a bit because we're gonna potentially lose our hero that would be the worst case we have also now the ward of horror horror uh, and cursing the enemy stuns targets hero for a short duration okay but it's like a let's let's try to use it this is a range thing no no, no. it's a melee attack Actually, it's kind of semi-arranged. Semi-arranged. The towers are looking like this, by the way, from the settlements, guys. That's an evil faction. We have not a uh, wall around the base, but we have somewhat like a wall. I like this. Looks pretty nice, right? Look at this, guys. I like the design a bit. And that's a war hero. Alright. He has also leadership. Leader of the pack. Uh, war scouts and war riders gain 25% increased combat experience and 25% increased damage. Let's try to get some levels on him while other hero is recovering and we have also now enough money for this dude. Oh, we are not able to recruit during Spain. I was kinda kinda confused also because 1500 for a Balrog. Uh, requires required during Spain spellbook unlock. Oh that's a 15. Okay, so we need to collect 15 power points first. But actually let's pick up the scavenger first. This way we're gonna get money all the time for killing enemy units. Keep trampling them down. Plus three, not bad. Not bad. Plus five for the Haradrim archers. They look different. Everything, everyone is looking different here. Even orcs, I believe. Yeah. Like orcs, I see. These are normal orcs. They are looking so different. I like the design, though. I like it. In the meantime, we lost this mill, unfortunately, but it's fine. Uh, we need to make some units, definitely. Because we have not many heroes. We have only three heroes, you know. Now we have also Bulk, who looks like... <laughs> dude let's take a look now into the general view commander view and also the unit view oh my goodness look at bulk ladies and gentlemen okay so what kind of production buildings we have mountain orc lodge okay just go for that we are getting attacked but it's not a big deal we are getting so much money now because of the scavenger if also three power points collected let's try to get this one unlocked as soon as possible so give me a second, I don't want to lose my heroes, so let's peel back with them for now, by pressing... Uh, I mean, this is kind of weird, because by a normal press... What is this? A ram is coming, indeed? What is this? <laughs> alright, alright, I see you. Bolt is... What is this? Oh, that's something like a... Savage Blade? Oh, this guy is one-shotting us, literally. Please move, don't die. We need to kill this ram as, as soon as possible. Bulk is pop popping off, guys. And this ram is quite tanky, though. We get so much money for killing this ram. Look at this ball, ladies and gentlemen. Even though he looks kind of strange, but I think he's very, very strong. Let's make some units now. We're going to take a look into them once we have them on the field. And I want to also read the power points real quick. But I wish... Yeah, we need to rebuild those towers as soon as possible. There is a Nazgul. Now we can cripple him down, maybe. What is this? Oh, it's like an experience thing. It's the worst thing to use now. There is nothing to give experience to. Volk, run for your life, Volk. He's gonna pin him. Okay, nice. We killed him. The Nazgul is going down. We need to kill one more. We are getting some units now. Those are Mountain Orc Slasher Horde. Okay? Right, all the Nazguls are dead. The only good thing here for us is we are getting so many power points, which is really nice, and also so much money. Look at our money, guys. Do you see that? Without any settlements outside. They are coming. Increase Orc and Goblin Infantry production. Uh, drums in the Deep. Sponsor Drums in the Deep. Surrounding units gain 50% damage. And we can go for the Fell Winter, which is gonna be enemy heroes and units in targeted area lose uh, health over time. Or we have Summon Giants pads. Let's actually summon them. I want to see them for, for now. I mean, we're going to eventually lock, unlock everything from the spellbook anyway, right? So we're going to be in a good spot. Okay. Let's make some more units. So we have now the Mountain Orc Slasher Horde and also the Mountain Orc Hunter Horde. We can also combine them. Yeah, yeah I like that. I like that. Flaming Arrow Volley. Yeah, let's, let's see how much damage they're going to be able to deal now with the Flaming Arrow Volley. We can also give them maybe buff. They should be stronger now, and they can also get leadership, I believe, not from this dude, but also, but actually from this dude. 
50% armor and 50% experience. Bulk in the meantime is level 6. Level 8 is gonna unlock the Bulk's bodyguards. Uh, he will be able to summon two hordes of Gundabad bodyguards to Bulk's side. This guy will have uh, with level 5 uh, luck and surrounding wolf riders gain 20% speed and crash. And this dude with level 8 shadow and flame uh, channels his sorcery and unleashes a fire lead blast that deals great damage to all units around him in a small radius. Okay. Sounds promising. Sounds really promising. Alright, so we gotta be careful now. I don't wanna uh, lose our units. We don't have many units. We can we can actually make even some more units now. Just take a look into everything possible from this faction. Guard Tower. Gundabad Troll Cave. Okay, that's gonna be also nice. Everything is looking so unique and very well designed from the team here. You know, who was making this mod, of course. Alright, our building is level 2 now. That's gonna give us the chance to... Recruit Mountain Orc Pikemen. You can also take a look into that. We have a lot of command points available as you can see and tell. And we are gonna be in a good spot until Mordor player is gonna recruit some catapults. I wanna see this. I wanna see Durin's Spain. I really want. Okay, we can now try to summon the giant pets. Just why not? Let's see what they can do. You need to have vision for them. Are they able to attack or something? Yeah, they are able to attack. Oh, they are like... They are like eagles. That's crazy. Let's see how much damage they're gonna deal to the troll. Okay, not too much. But also not bad at all. Like, they will, they will be able to kill this troll too. That's so, that's so awesome. They are like similar to the eagles. Like small eagles, but kind of like bats. You know what I'm saying? Like from Pokemon. <laughs> Tackle. Okay, now we are able to recruit some uh, Keef Trolls. Let's recruit them. They have also the Will of Sauron. Requires rank 3 Gundabad Troll Keef. Fields all trolls with single-minded fury, causing them to sprint at all times and permanently gain 50% damage versus structures and gates. Okay. Pretty nice. The bats are taking care of this Nazgul. Not a big, not a big deal. We get only 20 for killing them. Bolt, do something about the situation, please. And now we can also take a look into a different structure, just why not. Um, we have seen this one and Work 10. Okay, Work 10 is gonna be the last building actually, okay? That's the plan. Alright, so how many power points we need for the door in Spain? Still 11, okay? Now we can actually move out with our heroes a bit and fight for the map control and get to get to see the levels, you know? I wanna see body, uh, Bulk with the bodyguards with level 8. Gonna kill this catapult as soon as possible. Oh, I like this catapult shots too. They are also very unique. No firestone this time for Mordor for free, unlike in all battle for Middle Earth games. Okay. I mean, we are in a good spot. Our heroes are kind of tanky. I like that. And get some levels now. Bulk is actually hitting very hard, guys. I like that. Okay, now from this building we are able to recruit Gundabad Work Scouts or Work Riders. Let's take a look into both of them. Holy moly, this troll actually hurts. He will be able to destroy the Sawa in no time. Our buildings are level 3 now. I think they're gonna be also able to shoot. Every single one of them are gonna act like a tower. We are now only 9 power points away from the Durin Spain. With also Keef Trolls, they are looking like this. Now I can show you the uh, the view here with this unit view. Look at them. Do you see that? They are looking hungry. Look at their belly. Pretty nice design. Don't look like uh, the normal Trolls. Do they have a catapult? Yes, they do. I was wondering why I get knocked uh, down like that. Okay, these are the Vork Riders. We're gonna take a look into them as well. Let's do this actually right now. We are also able to switch the formation, kill the catapult and peel back. Let's not lose our heroes in the meantime. These are our Vork Riders, guys. They look like this. Pretty nice. And the Vork Scout is gonna look like this. I mean, I like this design a lot. Look at this. Very well done here from this team. Well, there is a Nazgul. Let's test them. We can also use Hole Ability for 60% more damage. Our heroes were able to survive. We have to replace the tower we lost. Nazgul is down. 
And we are also able now to recruit some of the snow troll stalkers. I want to see that. We have so many trolls on the field. Let's actually go for the attack, maybe. You're going to charge. I want to see how strong they can become. And they have also the ability to throw rocks and to eat an orc. But they have no chance of get grabbing a tree. Unlike the mountain trolls from Mordor. They are not dealing too much damage either, to the catapult at least. Go trolls, go, 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 go. They should be able to take it down eventually. There we go. We have to replace these towers once again. Uh, we are now going to be able to see some different units. In this case, those snow troll stalkers. Trolls here. Uh, they are strong versus infantry and calf. They are weak against archers, monsters and heroes. We're going to take a look into them now. Let's turn them a bit so we can see them better. And go on the unit view. Uh, we can't see them. Come here, please. Oh, wait. They look like this, guys. <laughs> I like this design. They are like half trolls, pretty much. Not as tough as the normal trolls, I believe. Move. Kill the units. I mean, unbelievable how much money we were able to get even without any settlements outside just because of our power points. Uh, the scavenger. Gives us money 24-7. And now we can buy this one, the Will of Sauron. That's, it's, I think it's something like a passive thing. I'm not sure if you can also buy this one on this trolls i will find about it you don't need to buy it right no no you don't have to buy it now they're gonna be in the charge mode look how fast they are gonna move even when you don't attack anything when you attack anything they're gonna i think still gonna be fast a bit and that's a trick you know even if you do if you have no targets but if you know that there is a mill for example you can press g key and they're gonna automatically charge or moonwalk like this troll okay so we have now i believe seen almost every single unit right now, we have not seen these units just yet. We need to actually make some more of these units. And go for an attack with this army. I want to just lose them. And see how strong they can become. And now, we can replace one of the mills, or the mines in this case, with the uh, Gundabad Deep Forge. That's going to give us the chance, like a blacksmith from Gonzo, to purchase upgrades. Who is this? Mouth of Sauron, I mean, he was Mouth of Sauron, now, he, now he's a dead mouth. Okay, this mid is going down. I actually enjoy this mod for now. I think it's pretty unique. I like that a lot. You are not able to purchase any upgrades on these units either. Uh, but you are able to purchase upgrades on this mountain um, orc slasher horde. And also on this uh, Mountain Orc Pikeman Heart. And with this building, it's going to level up over time. Just like a blacksmith from Gonzo. And that's going to give you the chance to purchase scavenge armor, the fell blades upgrades. And also the fell arrows upgrade. This building needs a lot of time actually to be level 3. Which is going to give us the chance to recruit Kundabad Berserkers. And also Mountain Orc Drummer. Almost there, almost there. And we can now move downstairs with our heroes. There is a drama troll. Looks like this. Pretty normal, the picture at least. To, but, uh, to what we know from normal BFME. He's even knocking down our heroes on the ground, but he's gonna go down. Our uh, look is now level 6. That's gonna give him the chance to use the scent of blood. I mean, we have no work areas around him. So that's not gonna be necessary, I'm assuming. Kill this, please. Okay, uh, we couldn't buy this one. I am the Lord of the deep places. Kill this drama troll next. Buy this outpost. There we go. And now we can also take a look into the outpost. Looks like this. With arches on top of that. I like that. Pretty nice. Pretty good. And we are also able to build cut up, uh, build towers. Guard tower. Let's build three of them for the defense, shall we? Okay, our heroes are doing a nice job. But there is a catapult we need to be taken down first. Let's do this. You can take care of these Easter links on a big, not a big deal. And more cutters are coming. Okay, let's move to kill those catapults. But they have no firestone. Oh, but in the meantime, we are also getting siege from this area. Let's also kill this catapult as soon as possible. This guy is kind of squishy though. So we have to peel back to defend this area because we are losing this, uh, you know, these buildings in a second. Okay. 
That, I mean, all the voiceovers are also different. Towers are looking like this, by the way, guys, from the Gundabad faction. Like a wood tower with archers on top of that and also in the middle of that. We will get the chance to see how much damage this deals once we are, at, we are getting attacked. We are losing all the units we have, but it's fine. It's still not level 3, I cannot believe it. Oh, 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 oh. Run for your life, look, and also Urshak. Bob, you can stay. Bob, you are a beast from the east. Sh stay and kill this Nazgul. Boom, level 8. Okay, now we can summon bodyguards, which is pretty good. They are pretty, uh, they are looking like this. Box bodyguard hot. They are also kind of unique. You are not able to recruit them from any building. Katas are shooting from downtown and it's finally, finally level 3. That's very, very important. I want to see how much damage they're going to be able to deal. Not too much to this catapult at least. That's their design, guys. Do you see that? So look pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's see their damage also against the Drama Troll. Crush. Oh, Drama Troll doesn't want to joke. Okay, Bok is level 9. We have seen every single ability of him. The only hero we are missing is this dude, Urshak. He will also get to get... Oh, and guys, 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 we have 15. We have Turin Spain now. And it needs some time. You can't buy the Durin Spain from the fortress until... Oh, there is, this is Gothmog on the Vork? Really? I like that. Come on, dude. I want to see also all the other factions, guys. I want to see that. Come on, kill this troll, please. You can also repair this, by the way. Uh, would you... That's a combo battalion. I was wondering why they are not <clears throat> able to attack. Oh, but look at this guy. Ursha, go take care of this. Stunts enemy a hero. Bam, he's stunned. I think he's like a cripple ability. Kill him. Oh! This cut has hurt. Run, he's running like a chicken. Oh, but guys, look at this. It's a permanent Balrog! Durin's Bane, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck dealing with him now. Please, good luck dealing with him. What is this? Statue from the Mordor faction? Really? We have also units now, different units. Let's use them to kill these catapults. If we lose the hero, no, we didn't. We need to be careful for our heroes. They are taking way too much damage. Let's use Ignite. Similar to BFMU1, the damage and armor you get. But you have no Breath Fire. Which makes kind of sense, right? Because Breath Fire would be kind of kind of OP. Imagine you have a permanent Balrog and you can use Breath Fire all the time, you know? Pew! Nazgul doesn't take too much damage. I would like to see also Witch King from Mordor, but we have not seen Witch King just yet. He is recruiting multiple Nazguls though. Okay, let's see the normal damage, auto attack damage. Pew! Nice. And fly on top of him now to kill him. Pew! Oh, we can't kill him. The fly doesn't deal too much damage. And in the meantime, let's make a Berserker army, shall we? Oh, we are only limited to have three of these units on the field. Okay, I see you. And Balrog is also taking a lot of damage for no reason. Okay. These are our heroes. They are healthy. Let's keep flying. And also the Ignite has a long cooldown. Yeah. And once again, you have no uh, breath fire with Balrog. Okay, keep that please in mind too. Okay, we have to fight for the map control now, eventually, with a couple of units. We have some units around this area. You can also buy all the upgrades from our blacksmith. Or the forge, in this case. Mordor base is also looking pretty unique. Look at the Haradrim Palace Siege Wars. They are also looking a bit different. Well, you know, much better designed. I don't know what this is. Orc Barracks, also pretty unique. I want to see his damage. Oh, that's Witch King, guys. Oh, that's going to be... Nice now. I want to see Witch King against against Balrog. Let's use Fire Whip first. Pew! But Witch King doesn't take too much damage. I'm, oh, but we might die here. Pew! Oh, but look the damage from Balrog to Witch King. He's level 1. I like this picture a lot. We have now the chance to revive, of course. And uh, we can also pick up some different power points from the Spellbook. Let's do this. And uh, we can also pick the Fell Winter. And the summon Gundavad Work Scouts, okay? 
Alright. We need to get definitely some more units on the field as soon as possible. We are also only limited to four of these units, by the way. We are not able to make unlimited units like that. Uh, get some snow uh, cave trolls, maybe. Yeah, let's get some cave trolls. Oh, we have another unit here. I didn't even see that. A stone troll monster monstrosity. I know. I don't know if this is a right pronouncement or not. But anyway, let's move down. Let's try to destroy this outpost as soon as possible. That's a mouth of Sauron, by the way. He's coming. The cartas are quite annoying, to be honest with you. Let's summon the giant bats once again, and also let's summon the Gundabad work scout. Balrog is actually quite fast back on the field. And once again, ignite and um, fly at the same time is a possibility. Let's kill the statue first. Oh, look, this guy is laughing. Okay. So we have now also this power point unlocked. I think we have now everything, right? Yeah, we have everything. What is what does this do? Damage over time. I want to see this. Let's use it here, maybe. Oh, they are like poisoned and slow down. And you can see they are slightly, but sh you know, surely taking damage over time. Oh, we have not paid attention. I have not not paying attention. It's a bad thing. Let's use the savage blade. Fifty percent damage and uh, attack speed. The troll is actually very strong. Kill him. Look how strong this troll is. Okay, level 7 now, but kill back, please. We have no heal, right, with this faction, so we gotta be careful about this. We can also use Balrog to kill this. Can we survive? I think we can survive. We can also revive our hero we just lost before. We are, of course, only limited to one unit at the same time. And that's the Stone Troll Monstericity. They are also very expensive. 1,200 in instead of 800 for the Cave Troll. Let's make more of them. Oh, we have to kill him. Okay, he's peeling back. Let's peel back too. Balrog, please do something. Kill this. This is still uh, remaining on the field. And Balrog is kind of squishy here. And also doesn't deal too much damage to buildings, as you can see and tell. It's a level 3 troll cage, but still, you know, Balrog should be easily able to two-shot this one in normal BFME. Let's see if we ignite. Okay, still not a lot of damage. I want to see the damage against the Slaughterhouse level 3. They are still ignited. Still needs two hits for this one. And again, you have no breath fire. Can we one-shot this catapult, though, with ignite and fire whip? Yeah, we can. That's good. Our heroes are recovering over time. The outpost is still under our control. Okay. Alright. So we are gonna get some more of these units. They are looking pretty strong to me. Doesn't deal. Really doesn't deal too much damage. And also taking a lot of damage from normal units. Uh, our heroes are kinda healthy again. We can actually spot Baldrock maybe. To destroy this outpost as soon as possible. There is a Nazgul. Who is this? Camille, right? Yeah, Camille. Looks like Camille. Kill this, please. I want to see the damage. There is another Nazgul even on foot. That's a normal Nazgul, or what is this Nazgul? Dur what this is Durin Spain. It's our unit. <laughs> okay. okay. This is Camille. Let's kill the uh, Camille. We can also use the uh, say it. Wings to fly away, maybe. To fly away. Thanks for the follow on the Twitch channel, by the way. Appreciate that so much. Means a lot to me. Okay, let's summon the bodyguards. We can also summon. We can also use this one for the buff, and also this one, and also this one. Balrog is trying to get disengaged, but our unit is taking. Our hero is taking so much damage. I want to get him level eight, really. Get the last hit, please. We got the last hit. We're almost level eight. Almost level eight. But we have to peel back. I don't want to risk the biscuit. Our Balrog is getting getting in safety. Can we get away from this situation? We have no... Um, let's use Felwinter. It's like a frozen land, pretty much. With like a... like a Blight. You know, from... Look how slow they are when you are using that one. The wolves are going to war. I like that. We have now many units on the field, as you can see and tell. And we are also only able to get five of these trolls on the field at the same time. Because they are very strong, apparently. We will see how strong they are now. Let's build some towers for the defense. They are looking dope. We have also the Will of Sauron. like, And you have also the Trollish Armor with level 2. You have mini damage and armor by 50%. Holy moly. 
And you are also not able to pick up a tree with these units, by the way. Only throw stones or uh, eat a orc to regenerate. That's the only possibility we got. Okay, bulk is almost level 10. Or also, also, the other hero is on the field now. From the Gundabad faction in BFMU1 in the Shadow and Flame mod. Um, I think I just saw a message today about a new release of this one, and I wanted to share with you guys. And I've never played this or heard about this mod before. That's the first time. And so far, my impression is pretty good. I like it. Something unique. Many, many different units, heroes, abilities from the spellbook too. Balrog permanently is some is nothing new. We have seen this already a couple of times. The Balrog permanently. But this Balrog is pretty strong. With level 10, he's gonna come out just like the Balrog Summon from the Mordor or Isengard faction in BFMU1 on the patch 1.06. I wanna see the trolls in action. They're also looking pretty strong. Look at this design. Do you see that? Wait a second. They have also like the armor on the on the foot, on the on the arms. You see that? Pretty nice. Yeah, looking like attack trolls. I like this design. Okay, let's destroy this outpost as soon as possible. It's a Berserker Horde. We can also purchase the upgrades on them to make them even stronger than that. And then you have also Drummers. They are looking like this Mountain Orc Drama. They are, they are like a sportive unit. A leadership bonus for infantry, 60% damage and 15% armor. That's what they do. Okay, level 8 now. Finally. Now we're gonna use the Shadow and Flame. Let's go for it. Nice, it's like a smaller version of, of the War of Power. But I like the animations. For a hero that cheap, you have something like that. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Uh, we can also recruit maybe some more Warc Riders, right? No, no, not this one. The more stronger ones. Like this one, these are, these are only wolf, uh, work scout, not very strong. No man can kill you, but an orc can, my friend, but an orc can. And Witch King is down and you get only 50 for killing Witch King, that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Imagine you are Witch King of Engma and your opponent is getting only 50 resources for killing you. What a shame. What a shame. Okay, we have not that much money left anymore and, I, you know, we have only one, uh, we have no settlements uh, for money. This one is also like an orc pet pretty much, you are able to recruit the Moria orc units for 42 resources, but keep in mind that we are able to get them cheaper on the field because of the mine bonus we have. Okay? Okay, let's go for attack now, shall we? Let's finish this game against the Heart Army. Okay. This outpost is in a safe spot. He was not even attacking it one time. I want to see the damage from this works uh, against the Lamry Mill. Also, this one can be attacked at the same time. Actually, dealing a lot of damage. Let's see also against this level 3 Lamry Mill at the bottom side. It's also level 3. Mm, not that much, actually, against level 3. Let's build a mine here. Oh, we are taking a lot of damage. We have to be careful. You can you can kill back now. Kill this units, please. Okay, now we can use ignite. Fly again. I mean, the fly has not the wings. They have almost no cooldown, so you can actually keep flying all the time. Look how fast it's recharging. But the damage is not very great. Who's this? Mouth of Sauron against Bolg. 1v1. Look at this. Pew. Run. <laughs> if you can. Oh, Bolg is a beast from the east. I'm telling you. This Bolg. Let's build towers here for the defense if we need it. Maybe we don't, we don't even need it actually, but you know. Better safe than sorry. Oh, that's also, oh, you know, back already. Let's use it. Yeah, you are able to kill the units. No, not actually, not kill them. You are knocking them away from you, kinda. Which makes sense. It's a very cheap hero at the end of the day, right? Where is Bulk? He is here. Nice. Uh, we have also this hero recovering over time. We have now the Warc Riders on the field. Let's give them 
all the upgrades, but we have not much money left. Holy moly. The only thing that I don't like uh, what I don't like about BFME 1 is not that it's auto attack. Like for example in BFME 2 and Rise of Twitch King, you have like a aggressive stance, which will allow your units or heroes to attack automatically when there is an enemy nearby. You know what I'm saying? Holy moly, this upgrade is also very expensive. 800? Really? That's a lot. Boom. For the war chant. Is also the whole ability. What is this actually? And a buggy vision there, maybe? You see that, guys? Some black magic is happening there for sure. I don't know what it is. Balrog has ignite pickup. Uh, oh, our hero might be in trouble. Run for your life. Run, 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 run. He's being chased down. We can kill this. Give them also Forge Blades to make them even stronger. Oh, he was using something like a Colder Horde or something. The units are coming out very, very fast now, as you can see and tell. And you are not able to use that in a building. This frozen land. I mean, which makes kind of sense. You are not able to use any land in any settlement. Borg Riders! And as we are gonna be, as we are gonna be victorious, guys, I wanna say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know, please, in the comment section down below if you wanna see more videos about, you know, about this mod. For all the other factions, like Gondor Rohan, what are the changes powerpoint wise, hero wise, and all that good stuff? They are victorious as always. Hard army has been defeated. And yeah, thanks for watching. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace, guys.